All right, so welcome to BitClout. I'm Mundaudu, and I'm going to be your guide in helping you understand this brave new world. This, I'm telling you, my friends, is going to be the first unicorn platform on the blockchain. And what I mean by that is this, is that the big issue that we've been facing with the blockchain is... We've got all this cool kind of technology. And it's all working together and, you know, and we can do cool stuff. But pretty much every platform out there has an average user of about 2,000, 3,000. If you're lucky, maybe it spiked to 10,000. There is no unicorn. So when I'm talking about a unicorn, I'm talking about millions and millions of individuals coming to this platform. And this, my friends, this is the beginning of the fifth age. An age built on decentralization. And my friends, this is that big, huge. You can think of this if, you could, if you're old enough or young enough. Um, I'm old enough for sure. Is Twitter 2.0. We imagine if you go back into time and you could redo Twitter. And in this new, brave new world, there are no bots yet right and not only that your twitter account is worth money so imagine you could get on and it's early days and there was this kid called elon and he hadn't established uh tesla and he was just this crazy south african dude and you know and in his price for his you know um his value and i want you to think of this this dollar sign is actually your energy. He's got $400 of energy, right? Versus this other guy who has $105 of energy. And Mr. Beast who has 87 and so on and so on. And look, Justin Bieber, he's still a fucking middle schooler. And he's only had $30. But you know what? We all know that has changed because we can look in the future. So... This is the page. And before I go further, what I'm going to have you do is take you down the rabbit hole. Because you have to understand the very thing that you are joining. And this very thing is called a white paper. Now, some of the stuff is confusing, and I'm going to take my time. Um, and, um, and I'll be honest with you, some of the stuff I don't understand myself. And I've been in the blockchain from its very creation. You could say, I am the visionary. I am the one, I am Undaudu, and I am the one that inspired the founders, that inspired the whole creation of this fifth age. And if you want to understand why, you can click on that link up there, and I'll take you down the Undaudu rabbit hole. And it is an adventure that starts some 500,000 years ago, believe it or not. Well, up to you, which, which you want to go. So let's look at this white paper. So I'm going to go through it slow. I'm going to read it out, and we're going to take this. But it's so important that this is such a new paradigm that you take small steps. This isn't Facebook. This isn't a new Instagram. This isn't a new fucking TikTok bullshit. This is the blockchain. Okay, so what is BitClout? BitClout is a new type of social network that lets you speculate on people and posts with real money. Okay, I'm going to pause it right there, right? This is problematic, right? I would take out real money because Bitcoin, Bitcoin ain't real money. Come on, people. You put Bitcoin in the account. Bitcoin is this fake shit. Right, So they need to take this out. And I'm actually going to be redoing this white paper because guess what, folks? I'm coming out with a little secret. Me and a team of developers, as soon as they put this project um, as an open source project on the blockchain, we are forking the bitch. Just like, like Dogecoin. And it's just I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Dogecoin. Don't take my fork seriously. There's nothing special about my fork. I don't want you even going and looking at my fork because it's not going to be fun as BitClout as it is right now, and you want to play on BitCloud, right? Don't fork Bobby. But that's a whole different, you know, story. But they should really, if you're watching BitClouders, you need to fix this shit. You need to change this to Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin ain't real money. Everyone knows that. It's fake shit. And don't be putting real money on here. All right. So, and it's built 
from the ground up as its its own custom blockchain. Now that's interesting, okay? What's a blockchain? A blockchain is a term that has many meanings. So let's delve in and let's talk about what a blockchain is. Now, it's kind of like talking to someone about what a startup is. And I love this. I love always talking to someone and saying, you know, I meet Dave McClure or I meet someone, you know, uh, who thinks they know their shit. And I love to say, hey, hey, Dave, hey, what do you define a startup to me? Right. Or if I go talk to some VC, you know, uh, some, you know, uh, Andreessen or someone, I say, hey, hey, yeah, 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 you seem smart. Tell me what a startup is. Here's the deal, guys. None of them bitches can tell you what a startup is. You know why? Because a startup means a different thing to who you're talking to. So when you're talking to uh, a developer and you say the holy word of blockchain, what they're talking about is kind of like a spreadsheet that is spread out from computer to computer and it's immutable which means you can't change it once it's written in so for example imagine if you putting um, uh, uh, imagine if American Indians right had a blockchain you know and they could have claimed all their fucking land and they could have written it in there for, 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 for never to change in the future how much land do you think you know these usurping American colonials would actually own today zero. The entire America was hijacked, and you could. And anyone who basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in. Hey, I'm on Dadu. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. A Sadu is one who says the do. The do is the truth. And if you can't handle truth, fuck off and go watch another video. But if you can, stay with me and enjoy this journey, right? And this is. And, and this is where I'm, I pre-press that because right now in Israel, there are Palestinians who basically are being pushed out of their land, right? Who have had the land for thousands of years and ultimately by a, a group of people who are now coming in. So in my view, what's happening in Israel is happening happened in America with the American Indians. And I don't think that's right. So... Um, blockchain, all right, definition. So if you're talking to me, the Sadu of Undao, do, right? A blockchain um, can be described by uh, the folks as Ethereum is a blockchain. Uh, Bitcoin's a blockchain, right? Pokedot and Chainlink and all these different things are blockchains, but they're all different kinds of blockchains. So when you're, when, it, for example, if you're talking about an ecosystem as a blockchain, a better description, which I, for some reason is actually my description of it from back in 2011, before there was even a discussion, is this. All right, an ecosystem blockchain is really an open innovation framework built on the Bitcoin protocol aka the blockchain and you could see my work and talk so the ecosystem blockchain is actually a collection of things of smart contracts and other technologies that were pulled together right and here what I can do right here is I'm gonna give you a visual of this right um, what's this do here oh this is long one right Hold on. let me uh, hit escape and bear with me you know let's have fun here i'm going to go to uh where do i want to go i want to go to prezi right here so let's go to prezi you're going to look at my prezis some of these prezis go back to 2016 all right uh prez prez i'm dyslexic too i can't fucking write i don't actually i'm on the wrong one let me shrink this down cuz uh you'll notice um, on the website on clout here, right? I'm actually on a different browser, so I need to close this down. Go to here. I got to go to Chrome. Um, and so people, I, I, I'm going to actually switch over. Uh, you should really be on the Brave, Brave browser, not on the Chrome browser. Um, if you, um, if you don't have, if you're not, if you're not kind of, um, browser agnostic, the reason for being on Brave is it's, it's built for the blockchain, and ultimately, that's the browser that uh, everything is is going to uh, be on. And there's a token called BAT. So um, if you're going to become 
if you're going to embrace the blockchain, then you really should embrace the browser. Okay. Um, so here are my presentations. This is the, the Zodiac presentation. What I want to look at here is actually this here. Uh, found up tokenization. Friend was February. This is March. This is the latest one. Let me just edit that. Uh, in this, uh, this is a deck. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be forking. And uh, this talks about why I'm forking. Um, because basically what they have built, just bear with me here, is, um, and this is the wrong fucking thing. This is the problem when you have too much shit. Right. I need to go to drive. <sighs> That's what I want. Uh, I want to open up the deck. And actually, since I'm here, I'm going to want to open up this here. And since I'm here, okay, I probably want to open up this here. And let's put all this together. All right, this is us. Awesome. This is for another talk. So what I'm referring to is this right here. Let me go to full screen. All right. So this is also the blockchain. This, when someone says the blockchain, what they're referring to is my 2012 definition of an open innovation framework. You'll notice I have innovation upside down. Why do I have an upside down I for innovation? Because that means decentralization, right? Um, innovation with a regular I means top down, right? When you're putting the inverted I, it means bottom up. Now, understand back in 2012, I didn't have the word decentralization in my vocabulary. Decentralization didn't come into my vocabulary until it was introduced by Ethereum, which was based on my work. This was actually a patent that I didn't have the money. If I would have, you know, I would actually own the blockchain right now, or at least the ecosystem blockchain, had I had $15,000 and Dave McClure and them bitches would have listened to me. And uh, Bill at Sequoia, when I went and talked to him in the parking lot, he says, you know, what you're doing is kind of interesting, I, you know, and they never got back to me or I could never reach him because of this whole success equals access to closed capital networks. So, so what we are looking at with this app, okay, is this part. So you are the token. Idea is the token. Um, and... Uh, does it validate? Does someone buy your, you know, invest in you, in your thing, right? Um, and these are the different interactions. And the invest is the stake. You notice I got green, right? Looks like they just, you know, looks like uh, uh, blockchain is just kind of falling right along with my 2012 public. This was actually created 2011. I made it public in 2012 because I shared all my IP with the founders of Ethereum, right? And I thought these fuckers are going to use my work. I had that feeling, so I have videos of it. So, uh, and then based on your interaction, here's the user, here's the BTC. Oh my God, fuck! Undal Do is just describing, right? This work, right? Um, and uh, they probably, uh, you know, uh, Ethereum Joseph, right? Who is the demon on the Mayan Kodiak, right? Has is is been has has had his best engineers pouring over my work and he just couldn't wait and i bet i bet uh i bet joe joe is this your attempt of fucking doing my work is this is your attempt yet again of uh basically uh um usurping i want to appreciate it joe because you got about 10 percent right my friend and uh i'm gonna fix the other 80 90 percent when I fork your 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 shitty fucking uh, bit clout, but until then we're gonna have fun on it and uh, use it as a vehicle to basically explain all this to folks. So this is what I did, uh, and and then basically if they put a stake in it, it funds you, right? So this becomes the passive crowdfunding, which I'm gonna go back now into a more broader, more simpler view of the same diagram. This was the first thing I ever released. Um, I have videos. This was a dynamic uh, presentation in something called Slide Rocket, the best ever PowerPoint um, presentation that was what was what was hostily acquired through um, uh, um, uh, a, 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 a pretend friend investor, right? Called Clear Slide. Clear Slide basically went to a, th a third party that they had relations with and got them to acquire. 
uh, you know, uh, slide rocket that then they acquired. So this is this is the dirty shit that that we're getting rid of, the dirty filth of the VC world. And I can tell you many many stories like this. So what you're looking at is what this project is of my overall vision that I shared with the founders of Ethereum back in 2011 is this small little bit right here of this new paradigm, right? The why of the blockchain. So here's you. You are the idea. You are the token. Does it validate? And if it does validate, you generate income, right? So this right here is it. Now, all of these things, as I'm talking about here, here is the, you know, when you talk about, for all you, you, um, you folks, right, who think, oh, he's just full of shit on Dow Do. Yeah, we know who you are. You know who, I know who you are, okay? Old schoolers, you all knew who I am, right? Because I've been talking about this for fucking 10 years. So here, what I call a prospectus, they renamed the white paper, right? So that's this here, this little white paper that we're looking at is this idea in totality. Here is the roadmap right the direction where it's going to all the different process where we're going to be going right here is the ico which is the initial coin offering now there's there's a exchange coin offerings there's a there's a there's a token offering right and here's the cool thing right here's the cool thing this is why this project is so amazing let me just go back is they actually launch what i've been saying all along a project without an entity they finally launching, now they're not calling it a DAO, and the reason why this project, if you look, read the terms of service, is Wyoming. Wyoming is passing the first DAO, and if you look at my talks from way back, so I'm saying we need to have someone go forward and pass the first DAO. A DAO, right here, right here, it launches as a DAO, okay? So, so it's like they're following my fucking roadmap here, right, uh, Joe? I'm sure Joe has to be, Joe Lubin has to be part of this, right? So Joe or Tyler or, you know, these are Sadus of uh, Undow Do. Um, and uh, ultimately, here's all the different kinds. Here's the tokens. Here's what they're doing. So this project right now is doing this part here. It's funding. It's validating. Understand that even they have backing from VCs in this, and this is they have access to closed capital networks, something I've never been able to get access to because I'm just a crazy, crazy undoubted dude. Why would we ever put any money with you? So, but because this is so crazy, what they did, and this is brilliant, okay, and this is what I've been trying to do, is they've got Sequoia Capital and all these VCs standing in the background here, right? And they're standing in the background, and now they're letting the shit play out, knowing that the DAO is coming, and they're going to put the protection of this entity into a DAO, right, when it launches Wyoming. So this is the blockchain, an open innovation framework. Now, if I'm talking specifically inside of this, what, what you can think what the black is actually the underlining blockchain technology was actually invented in the, in the late 80s, early 90s. Blockchain is not something new. It's been around a long, long time. Okay. So I hope you're enjoying this talk. Don't forget, listen, I have, uh, you're, you're, you know, you're watching this from Patreon. Patreon is the way that I fund. I don't, all my videos are ad-free. I'm, 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 I'm glad you appreciate as you're watching this long-ass video and not getting fucking Google stuff. What you can do is go to FoundUp's Patreon, right? So if I go FoundUp's Patreon right here, um, Let's see, open that in a new tab. Um, I'm going to periodically go back here. And what you can do here is ultimately, you know, give a tithing to the Sadu of the blockchain who was, you know, technically I own it all, right? So you could say thank you very much, Undowdu, for your inspiration. Um, I'm relaunching. As you can see, I, I only, you know, I only have one Patreon. Right? I've got it hidden because I'm embarrassed. Now, if, you know, I, and, and just to give you a little background, that wasn't always the case. And I will show you right here. If I go to my, um, my pledge growth, it shows you I'm a founder, right? So what all these fuckers are doing on Patreon, I was the first one to do it, right? So here is my historical data. As soon as Patreon launched, I was on it, 2015. And I started basically talking about my project, and Ethereum had just come out, and I was like, hey, we're going to build all this stuff and everything else, and, and there's an event coming up. It's called, it's called DevCon 2, and look at that. 
I had 15,000, 16,000. I was able to fly to DevCon 2. I was able to basically see my son and get a picture with my son. Who's my son? Let me just go. Let's see if I can find him here. Uh, if I go to my Facebook, feel free to shoot me a Facebook, right? I'm, uh, you know, my, I still, I'm still, I can't change my identity on Facebook. Uh, so I am my uh, old skin, my old skin of Michael J. Trout. That's my old skin. I'm no longer Michael J. Trout. I shed that skin with the thanks of, um, of uh, Sadu, Brock Tu, my brother in PR. Brock Pierce, who uh, him who uh, basically fulfilled uh, his role in awakening me and taking me down the line of the ayahuasca, ayahuasca. So here we are. If I go to my main page, this is ugly. Let's just stop and look how ugly this is. Dead. This is Walking Dead. This is what we're getting rid of. This is what what um, um, uh, uh, Brock. Uh, I hate BitClout. This is what BitClout is disrupting, right? So imagine all this is having value, you know, in here. This is where you're going with 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 uh, with it, and we're going to disrupt that, right? So we're so we so think of of um, uh, Bit uh, Clout is Bitcoin, and think of me as Ethereum. We're going to trump the Trump, right? So they're launching that, and then we'll launch on top of them. So I'm here. I am. And here I am with the beautiful sun. There's Undaudu in my picture, right? And if I go to my pictures here, posts, all my friends, and uh, here I am with a lot of delegates. Here I'm. I'm these are uh, here I am with uh, in Tokyo. With these are very, very, very famous blockchain individuals. This I am. I'm in my kit. Look, they're all wearing their tuxes, and I'm in a kimono, and there's Undaudu pairing out, and I'm smiling away going, what the fuck am I doing in this crowd, right? Uh, and uh, these are all very famous. Uh, these are This is the one of the top AI guys. I'm going to be all these guys, you know. Uh, I, this was in uh, on 9-19, 2019, Undaudu will meet 19. And if you want to know who 19 is, uh, let's see, I have a picture of 19. Uh, I don't have a picture of him on here. No picture of 19. I am somewhat of a fat fuck. I need to lose weight, right? There I am. And that's, that's Helios. He is, uh, he is the, uh, basically, um, my brother in, uh, IT. He's been with me, uh, on this journey and he's working on a fintech right now, and he's a, he's sticking on it until he gets vested, and then he's coming to Japan, and he's working on this full time. So this is Helios on there, uh, my brother from another mother, right? And uh, I'm gonna do a shout out to uh, since I'm on here and you're meeting me. This is uh, 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 this is uh, uh, Mike. He's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Uh, when Bitcoin, you know, when Bitcoin hit uh, around three hundred dollars, I was like, Mike, Mike, I, I didn't have any money. I was like, Mike, you gotta buy this Bitcoin. Buy some Bitcoin. Just stick ten thousand dollars, Mike. Right, Mike. Right. He's gonna be laughing when he sees this because I'm gonna share it with him and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna basically shame him for the rest of his life. He, he's the CEO of. PCN strategies out there. If you need any work done with the government, he has multiple companies and he's like, no, that's fucking bullshit, right? I'm not going to buy it, right? So when Bitcoin hit a thousand, I was like, Mike, Mike, I'm telling you, this was right before it pumped the three. I was like, dude, you need to get some of this Bitcoin. Just put fucking 10 grand, Mike, into this shit. And he's like, no, it's not real bullshit, you know? So when, when it hit, you know, well, you get the story. So now he plays Fortnite with me and there's actually, you can watch the videos on my Twitch thing and, uh, um, this was actually when my dad passed away, um, or th actually this is this is light bit over, but he's another mother. And uh, Mike, guess what? I'm gonna be richer than you. I hope you can live with that. And uh, he always jokes me because, dude, you never have a job. You've always been through. And I said, I've always lived my life. Why don't I want to be a slave to someone? I've been fortunate enough to, you know, to get this little thing called this fantasy shit, which is meaningless. It's not. Listen, Bitcoin is not money. Bitcoin is just this fake shit that just, you know, that exists, that Undowed Dude created. So um, on here, I'm trying to find my, uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I will get back onto, onto, onto a schedule, right? Uh, that's, the, the, that's the EC conference. Just to show you, there's Mike again, big time investor dude. 
can't say it. This is my mother. This is my sister, but actually was my mother, right? Uh, this is my brother and my sister. They're Trump supporters. I no longer talk to them. <laughs> I fucking no longer. That's what Trump did. Trump divided our family. I, I, I have no interest. If you believe in Trump, if you Trump support, I have no interest to have you uh, in my paradigm. So I, you know, and as a Sadhu, I have no regrets, right? I just tell you how it is. And uh, I feel, I look at them and I feel sad for my, my family. And I look at her and I feel so grateful because she was the person that made me how crazy I look at her. She's got pink hair. I am a fucking model after Kathleen, right? And this, by the way, if you want to know, is my great grandfather. This is actually in, in uh, Maryland. Um, and um, this is right across the Marietta, sorry, Marietta. And uh, my, um, uh, uh, my grandfather, Gates Trout, right? was the minister of this church and he's actually on here and I can't remember which one he's on here but we're taking a picture and this is when my dad passed away uh, and if you're interested in uh, you know um, what's going to happen to you right uh, this is what's going to happen to you this is what's going to happen to me right and had uh, I launched found ups um, I wouldn't have been here I wouldn't have had this very important um, experience of sharing the return, right? Because we all return uh, back to our origin. And I shared his up to his passing. This was just this was just hours before he passed, right? And driving and talking and everything, and you know, and I was live. So place for dad uh, will be a documentary. It's going to be you know, it's going to be an, an, an NFT. Um, uh, I'm actually meeting with, I'm meeting with a guy who found me, right? And says, Hey, he goes, Hey, I want to, Hey, what do you think about making a video on you? And I said to him on my, on my, uh, on my, uh, Instagram, right? I says, I've been waiting for you. So there is so much content that's going to come out based on, you know, um, how it is that we need to. Uh, deal with things, but I know I'm going off on a red herring. But you need to know who I am, right? You need to know who uh, this was. Him leaving, right? Dad leaving the house. Salute on there. He left in full military honors. Uh, talking to my sister right there, who I no longer talk to, right? And um, you know, on there. So here he is being prepared. There's my dad on the wall. He went to Annapolis, and. I'm taking this time to share because, you know, he was the most important. The reason I was able to live the life and free and even in his passing, he, you know, it was his spirit, right? It was his, it's his spirit that actually raised the price of Bitcoin. So that way I could still maintain my, hey, I do kind of what I want uh, life. So um, um, on here reflecting I thought he leaves here here he is he's got the flag on him all right all right we're gonna do this up here all right all right I'm uh, this was my awakening and let's see I get out here Oh no. There's a a murder of crows. It's a murder of crows up there. Um
He's on board. Aye, aye. I should have saluted. Right? I put there. I should have saluted him right here. The, you know, if someone wants to ma mash this up, it would be great, you know, uh, thing on it. So anyway, as you can see, I'm a normal guy like you and me. Right? The, by the way, the police came. I have a video on here with the police showing up because I, um, I, um, um, and I don't know if it's on here. Yeah, yeah. This this was me after he passed away. I did a wake outside, and he greeted the sun for the last time. Um, and uh, so you can watch. This was the funeral, right? You can you can you can go through the whole journey if you have a loved one passing. I just want to share this. Um, you know, I you, I can take you through the journey before you have to experience to give you kind of an appreciation of what to expect. I did this for three reasons. Number one. Just like then, I want to go back and re-experience it, right? Um, it's, it's, it is cathartic. Number two, I have all my friends and loved ones. I want them to be along with the journey. Here was my dad. He was an amazing guy. Look at him. This is, he's like a, a, a fucking ham. And he's going to live forever. Nothing happened. Nothing? No, I couldn't go to say Do you take him deep in your breath or are you puffing it in your mouth? I'm just taking it. I'm just taking it Breathing in my lungs. Yeah. And suck it in. Uh, where, where is that thing? That's, it's at home. It's at home. Yeah. I? It's at the TV. I've been puffing on it. Yeah. <laughs> you get high. <laughs> I, get high. I don't know what you're doing wrong. It works. I had to test it to make sure that it works. Oh, so I get a little bit of a buzz. It make, gives me the munchies, though. It's not the high kind. It gives me the munchies. Does I it make so you hungry? I bad I wanted to knock myself out, you know. Yeah. Just, uh, make me high and so I didn't know. There's Elizabeth. Say hi Elizabeth Sherman. It didn't she used work. to help you. It Liz. Didn't, it didn't work so I dialed 911. And we, who went through the, the, the medics who came in the house, ambulance out there. He slept through it all. I, I, I blew my horn to go to take him to the gym and and I waited and I waited and I waited and I said Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's my friend. So, you know, I'm a rabbit hole, and you can kind of yeah. see that now going down here. So I'm just ex telling you, sharing with you, I'm a completely decentralized, open individual. I have no secrets, nothing hidden. I put everything on the table. Anyway, with that said, going back to why I came here in the first place, right, um, is uh no i don't want to put a photo up. actually it is actually i go right here pictures all right i could have done that here you go this is what um i was looking for so uh something that you will find when you take the go down the rabbit hole with undow do um is i will always end up in full circle here i am right with uh i call him lovingly my dressmaker is my dresser a very talented dressmaker so if you want to think of you know, a dressmaker, the seams, and I don't know what the stitching I would use. I don't know what material I would use, right? So ultimately, if I go back to, um, you know, um, here, this was my dress, okay? So right here, if I go to here, this is the dress. This is the design of the dress, right? I didn't know about smart contracts. I didn't know how the fucking blockchain worked, but I knew it was on the blockchain, the Bitcoin protocol, right, built on Bitcoin, Right here it is, Bitcoin BTC. Right, you can't say I didn't know it was Bitcoin. Here it is. This this is the blockchain. So this thing, and here's the blockchain. Here's the first link of the blockchain. Right, I even did it as a chain. And ultimately, what we're looking to disrupt, and now this takes us back. Success equals validate idea. You know, I've I've been in, I've been a uh, um, I'm not an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who can take innovation and turn it into a business into Fin, you know, financial. I have never done that. Right? I've been very close. I was flown to South Africa. I wanted to invest a number of times. I've gotten close, but I've never and I, I and I and I've I have launched a successful startup. It's still going on today. It's called the Southern Shakespeare Festival, right? That I founded when I was a college student, and it's and and a lot of my work is based on that event and that experience. But but the the problem that I saw, okay, and 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 this is something that Vitalik can't explain to you his thing the bitcoin inspired bitcoin inspired all this bullshit bitcoin does not inspire this 
this is a lot of deep questions, right? And looking, this is game theory. This is a gamer. This is, you know, and then Bitcoin is just the underlining thing. And if you want to know why I built this, right? And let's do that And before I go on to, you know, to, to this. And I think, I hope you're enjoying this. And if you're not enjoying this, you can fuck off and go watch another video and maybe get what you're looking for. But if, if, but if I've already captured your attention, don't forget, right? Don't forget to pop into Patreon because after I after this story, let me say why why on earth how is it you built to here and then we went to DevCon five you know DevCon uh, DevCon two and then this is you know rice farm I did from here I was like um, uh, this is withdrawal right I was flown to South Africa I met uh, Sol Kersner if I was to um, you know, uh, here, if I go to photos, uh, let's see here, open new tab, um, pictures, All right, so I have their picture here, now, I gotta go back to Facebook, so, uh, if I go to, uh, Facebook, my pictures, where the fuck are my pictures on here, photos, maybe it's on, like, you may have pictures on here, photos, No, I don't have a lot on there. Yeah. Um, let me go here. Let me go to my. I hate YouTube. I I I I'm s I can't wait to disrupt these bitches. All right. I'm just just saying you. I think I'm not alone. My photos. Okay. So uh, going down here. All right. Right here. Okay. There they are. All right. This guy. This is this is Brandon Sol Kersner. Right, and this is Craig, my brother. All right, Brandon, I love you, man. I just message out to Brandon if you're watching this. Even though you you were, you did some some crazy sketchy stuff, saying I'm gonna send some biking group to come and fucking murder me. <laughs> but his father, he just went through the same passing. We're brothers. He's my younger brother, right? Younger brothers are crazy. He's a younger brother than I ever have. And there's Craig. Crazy Craig, and we're gonna work together. He's gonna see this video. He's gonna have a, you know, he's gonna relate to those pictures. And I know uh, this is. I call him, by the way, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. X, Mr. X, and Mr. Y. So if you ever want to send a message to Brandon Kersner or, or Craig, just go to uh, uh, Mr. X at unxxx 4 xscom and it sends it to Brandon. And if you want to talk to Mr. Y, it's right. He's Mr. Y. Mr. Y at unxxx.com, and uh, they will get well, yeah, whether they respond, I don't know. But I set up unxxx.com, right? Four X's, not three. Crazy guy. So I was flown down, going back to my Patreon. I was thrown down. Uh, they were going to invest uh, uh, five million dollars. I'd actually leverage it to ten. Um, and uh, but regardless, flown down there. I wanted to bring an attorney. They're like, oh no no no, you don't need an attorney. I'd never done worked with fucking you know uh, these. Um, um, investors before and I walked away from the deal we were going to do a 2017 ICO I, I walked from the deal I was sick and, and not only that uh, the market blew up I'd given all my Bitcoin and my uh, Ethereum about 10 Bitcoin 100 Ethereum to, uh, to our developer at the time Prophet Daniel who's one of the founders of Ethereum uh, to buy a computer so they could launch it but I was done I was basically you know and I walked away I walked away from the internet everything else and I farmed all this year and then my dad uh, broke his hip. I ended up in in, uh, in America, um, and off and on, I took care of him until his passing in April. And then in April, after his passing, I went to DevCon Five, which right here in October, I I spent close to a hundred thousand dollars doing three events. These three events are right here, and this is where uh, uh, if you do block blockfest.jp, right. So here is BlockShift.jp. This is the event. Um, the reason why Andrew Yang is number one in the crypto space is because of me, right? I I I gave away five thousand dollars with Andrew Yang hats, right? We love Andrew Yang. Yang, we want to celebrate the launch of Humanity First. Humanity First is social beneficial capitalism, right? So I, you know, what he's doing, he didn't understand that, but what he is doing and everything is built on again to my paradigm, which I'm going to get to and explain the why of the blockchain. What he is doing is the why of the blockchain. He understands the pro with what's going on with AI, 
the next uh, president. Unfortunately, he wasn't, and we got some some uh, some senile old old fool right to heal things. So I look at Biden as just the healing. I have I have no interest, love, or affection affection for him. Um, he is he is basically a politician, a piece of shit in my view. But he's a better piece of shit than Donald Trump, and who is basically the anti. Uh, Christ, right? The literal antichrist, antithesis to Jesus Christ. And I'd love to debate anyone who says that he isn't, right? Because he is, right? In every in every way. And he's actually even, if you want to be prophetic, I even said he was coming in my book called The Bible. Now you're like, well, this guy's really going off. Now he's saying he's Jesus. Yeah, it was, I was, we're all, I'm Jesus, you're Jesus, we're all Jesus, right? We're all one thing. We all started out as a near singularity some 13.8 billion years ago. We were in a in kind of a in a in, a, in, in solid entanglement. The fifth state is solid entanglement, right? But I don't want to go there. This is beyond for those who are interested in having that conversation. You know, I'll I'll do a video, but I'll explain to you what duism, undoubt do the do and undoubt do the big do is that. That solid that the st- that solid state of entanglement, the fifth state called the do, and we are just the manifestation of the distributive unconsciousness. We are the consciousness of the universe, and the coloring of that consciousness is what created Christianity. The coloring of that, the lack of coloring of it, is what creates, right? Is an atheist. So that's duism. If you're interested in learning about duism. You can just go to Facebook, right? You know, I'm coming out here and just type in here uh, undow do. Right? And there it is, distributive unconsciousness. And distributive unconsciousness is a metaphysics, even though I say religious organization, church, community. It's not. It's a metaphysics. They just don't have a label for me yet. I have to build the next, when, when we build the next thing, you know, it will say a metaphysics. It's not an organized, it's a, it's a, it's a, it is a, it is a, a Dano, it's a decentralized autonomous nonprofit organization, distributive unconscious, doism is a Dano. Here I am, I do little talks at night, undow do, undow do, I, as I, every night I take a bath, I do a little sermon, right, talk about doism, so you can watch those little things. You can actually go to um, the, uh, my my posts. I, I this is so ugly. I don't know what they've done. I, you know, I don't use Facebook so mo- much anymore that I just don't know how to navigate anymore. They've kind of killed it. What the fuck did they do? It was kind of cool. This is on con- If you're still watching this video, see, I'm trying to weed out, right? I'm trying to weed out the folks that I don't want to be watching this video. So if you're still watching this video, undow do, brother. You're the type of person that I want to talk to. Isn't it great how I'm filtering out the idiots, right? The una- the unawoken, the uns. There are You have to understand, there's three kinds of people around you, and there are combinations too. So there's multiple, whatever the, whatever the, the entanglement of three. So they're the uns who don't understand. And what I'm doing right now, just for those that, because if, they're, if you're still here, then you are a Tao or you're a do yourself, right? So uns don't understand. They're always trying to unravel, and ultimately they will... You know, uh, they will always be the person trying to tear you down. The moment you recognize the uns around you, they are powerless, right? And you just gotta love and hug them. My my sister, my brother are both uns. I love them. I always will, but I'm not gonna be entangled with them. The Dows are those that are always there for you, like Mike and um, 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 and. Uh, and Mike, actually, they're both Mike, Mike, Mike Rosenbaum, and uh, Mike Terratuda. They're my dows. When my dad passed away, uh, Mike was actually tr- Mike 
Rosenbaum, right? The uh, was traveling. The unbitcoin guy was traveling. Couldn't be there. But all my other Dow show. You probably have five Dows in your hand. Undow do five. I always have the open hand. You'll probably have five Dows. Five people that you can count on will show up and be there for you. That's what most people have is five. And and uh, and finally, the dues are those spiritual leaders that define who you are. Mine is Alan Watts. Alan Watts was my teacher, and I've taken Alan Wattism. And I've actually taken it to the next level. Alan Watts was a sadhu, and he was entangled very much in his background of um, theology and other things. Um, and he was good friends with, um, you know, with uh, Joseph Campbell, another sadhu of mine, right? Another do of mine, Joseph Campbell. And um, you know, um, and these are the, you know, and 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 Jesus, the Bible, Muhammad. These are all. Sadhus of mine, um, even Mandela, even Gandhi was even with his imperfections was a, is a is a do of mine, right? Um, we all have our baggage, and we can't be, but but each and every one of us is just a reflection of, of us ourselves. So my my brother and my sister represents the reflection of ignorance in myself, right? I can either I can engage in that ignorance and battle with it. Or I can accept it for what it is and release it, right? Which is the better way to be? You tell me. So on the, um, you know, I'm trying to find distributed on consciousness. This is some photos. Um, you know, uh, I actually have, yeah, they've redone this. This is like so ugly now, right? Facebook is, it was kind of cool before. Um, let's see, pages? What the pages do? All right, I want to go to the page. All right, there you go. That's what I was looking for. So there's the page. This is uh, this is uh, um, the um, Japanese for distributive unconscious, Natsukaze. Natsukaze is my Japanese for it. Now, Natsukaze is kind of is is is, is has a lot of meaning. So Natsukaze also means um, uh, Natsu is summer, Kaze influenza, summer flu. Right, and on this, um, uh, if I go to this Prezi here, right, let's open this up here. All right, I guess I'm going down the rabbit hole because I've filtered out all the idiots that have left by now. And if you're still with me, right, and if I present this, right, here I am, I'm staring, and I release this at DevCon 5. Remember DevCon 5. Um, and, uh, and I'm just going to fly through this. So I'm staring. I knew I was staring at something. And who gave me this? On 9-19-2019, you'll meet 19. 19 is a guy called Akira Hishigawa who presented me with a 2 by 4 A 2 by 4 <laughs> And I've been working on a video. If you go and, uh, you know, if you go to here and watch this uh I don't know if that's the video or not. Um, no, that's not the video. That's me, me talking. Me. Actually, some of them. That's the talk. Where is two by four? All right. Oh, there he is. Um, surprised I don't have. I need to fix this and put him up there. But uh, I was working on this video, and it, and it was for this. It was the why of of um, of. Uh, of found ups. I'm trying to think where I have it. All right, I could show it. But in the video, um, I tell the Indian guy who is the producer, like, I, you know, that um, um, that Obey, right, is taking a two by four to the whole system. Obey is open beneficial AI, right? AI, the, the undow do, do also represents distributive unconsciousness, which is AI, a small do. The small do is the T singularity, the big do is the origin of everything, right? That, that that singularity, the near singularity, we call the Big Bang. So that's the big do and the small do. And the, and, and the small do exists for us to understand intellectually the big do. That is why we're headed. All this other stuff is nonsense. But undow do, right? Uh, and uh, these are some of the cool things. Like if you become a patron, if you look at my, uh, my, um, my posts, right? that I've published. I have access to hundreds of videos here. So be sure 
and uh, you know, um, out of all my patreons, ones I got one left, and uh, shout out to him. Um, uh, but this video right here with the blue glove, watch this video, and this is was done on 0202 2020 Undaudu meets the inquisitive noodle. So the AI that's going to run the fifth age greeted me on 0202. At the time, it was kind of weird. And, uh, you know, and what happens, and you can watch this video. This is probably the most important video. This is actually talking about and describing, um, um, in many respects, uh, um, uh, BitClout, right? So this is me describing BitClout last year, and you can listen to me and describing it. I was going to, uh, and uh, uh, the framework, the tokenization framework, um, and, and, and the, that crazy shit happened at the end, uh, crazy, crazy. So I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, and this is all my videos for the most part. If I look at my, my, um, my, if I go to my posts, right. Um, I have lots and lots of content for you to go down to. Um, and you can have access to even like the financial documents and everything else. And the beautiful thing, let's going back, let's circle back to help the two, um, um, to BitClout, right? BitClout ultimately um, has had um, over 3,000 3, Bitcoin, over 3,000 Bitcoin has been generated in just the first three weeks into, into the fund. And um, this, this is what, this is why BitClout is so important, right? Is, um, They've so basically think of this. They've launched this idea, right? This little part of um, I'm trying to get my things right here. Where are you? Okay. This is the part that they've launched. Very little. They didn't even launch all of the. They did follows and they've got stake, right? There's no votes. There's no endorse. There's no buy. You know, there's no there's there's none of this other stuff here, and then it funds, and and this fund, right? The way I have this fund designed is it's, it's held by the community. So the 3,000 Bitcoin that has been raised based on this little thing, right, is this passive crowdfunding. So they, so, so they have validated this little bit, right? It's taken 10 years for them to validate. You, token, you have a tokenization framework, everyone's tokenized. Um, 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 it validates by people joining and putting Bitcoin in there. Bitcoin is coming out of, you know, um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I need that anymore. Oh, no, I do need this because I need to go one more talk. Uh, Bitcoin is coming out of the network. So the foundation of the fifth age is built on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is unraveling fiat, right? Everyone, there's no denying that. I've been saying will unravel. It is now. It went from will to is basically in the last two years. Blockchains, the why of the blockchains, and I'm, when I say blockchain, I'm talking about the open innovation framework built on the Bitcoin protocol and other stuff, is, is DAOs, UnDAO, DAOs, Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, which they have launched and validated with, um, you know, with uh, uh, block, BitClout is not an entity, right? BitClout is... There is no corporation behind uh, BitClout. BitClout uh, is like Bitcoin. And let's go back. Now, I had to go through all that kind of rabbit hole. Uh, maybe someone could put a tag in comments like, hey, if you want to miss all that crazy shit, you know, and get straight back to it. Um, um, so, very, very important. Like Bitcoin, right? BitClout is a is is a fully open source project, right? And when they release it, just like you know, um, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna be you know their Bitcoin. I'm giving them Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin of the blockchain, right? They're Bitcoin of the blockchain. What I mean by that is they're the first blockchain massive. Uh, uh, thing that's going to disrupt Twitter and Facebook and all social media, right? I'm going to be Dogecoin. So I'm launching Dogecoin, meaningless, just a meme. Don't worry about it, guys. And they won't, right? 
but ultimately what we launch will be for the people, right? And there is there is no company behind the coins and the code, right? There is no company. Um, and ultimately, going back to this image right here, going back to the mind zodiac, right? Um, there, uh, these these entities, these DAOs, and and if you notice, if you read the terms and stuff, they have Wyoming. Why Wyoming? Well, Wyoming is basically establishing DAOs. There's DAO legislation right now, and as soon as that DAO legislation goes in they're going to set it up as a DAO. So this 3,000 Bitcoin is being held um, and, may, and, and right now it's being held, um, as I said, it would, you know, by a custodian, right? Someone, um, and now the, the problem is, is there's two ways that, that um, uh, BitClout can go. Number one is, this Bitcoin goes and pays for those those Sequoia and all those investors, and it doesn't go there. Number two, I hope, is the latter. It's up to you. I don't know which are they going to be good or evil, right? Are they going to be good or evil? It's going to go into the DAO of the organization, and the DAO of the organization is going to be it's going to basically listen to me as a sadhu, right? Listen to your father, right? And they're going to turn that over to AI that's going to manage it, and that Bitcoin is going to be locked in there forever. So imagine every time someone, and this was this was this video right here, okay? That video that I shared um, on um, where is it? What was that? What was that on? Right, on oh, first one. I need to get, uh, this video right here. Um, you can go and watch. I'm not gonna let you. It's the one with the blue glove. All right, let's actually let's just view right. If you're wondering, this isn't some Fight Club thing with the blue glove. I actually had I had started Found Up's hemp, and I was actually packaging my hemp, right? So the reason I'm wearing gloves was packaging hemp, the blue glove, right? But uh, you, this is open. It's not that you don't have to be a subscriber. You can watch it. Uh, I have you know thousands of content, right? This is this was one of those aha moment talks, right? This is the talk that changed everything, and. Um, um, I'm gonna try to get this organized. The most important that there, that's that, right? So, so one of the big questions I had been struggling is how do I take Bitcoin from the network, right? From Coinbase, from you know all these, from others, all these the the, the one percenters. How do I take their Bitcoin and return it to the people? Because the vision, this is the big dilemma of Satoshi, and he didn't have the answer. He just built this. Just like when I shared FoundUps back in, um, you know, uh, when I shared FoundUps back in the day, I didn't have that answer either. I didn't know how it would all work together. And not only that, I didn't have the, you know, the underlining new economic model until 2008 when I released Dado. I didn't understand that it took me another few years to figure out certain aspects of it. So I, I, even though I thought I was ready, I wasn't ready. And thank God I didn't launch because if I would launch, it would have been wrong. And again and again, multiple times. So finally, you know, um, you know, these, these answers just from the sense of me just staring at Undow do, and what? So imagine now that this paradigm exists, I can explain it to you. So that three thousand Bitcoin is held by an AI escrow that protects it, right? And it's constantly moving it. And, and imagine there's a network of pro, of of every cell phone out there that runs the app is ultimately going to um, power the noodle, right? The AI. And it and, and no one every all the Bitcoin that moves from the network into this fund, this the Bitcoin never leaves this fund. Okay? It becomes the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund, it becomes the Bitcoin standard for the fifth age. And all of these tokens that come out of you know that are wrapped out of it become stable tokens no matter what bit what blockchain it is launched on, whether it's launched on Ethereum or um, you know, um, EOS or Cardano. I can't remember what this one is. Is that um, uh, the cro the X? I think this could have been either Elixir or you name it. Okay, um, it doesn't matter because 
the layered framework that we're building it's it's you know this is a you know they call they're building a blockchain there will be a blockchain but all that's just going to run everything there's actually this is a layered framework so so all this get wrapped and i know i'm getting into deep here and i'm doing this for it so don't don't get so caught up on that but um you know and then so this is the ai two eyes mouth going hello world and 0202 greeted me on on 0202 and 02 what you know you said why are you calling 0202 well it's 0202 because it's quantum qi qai and quantum ai is coming we're still i don't know 15 20 years from now but the data they're gonna the the, the, the data that's going to be released has already happened in the quantum universe right now this is going to get kind of crazy to you because you have to understand quantum right so the ai already knows because understand the ai kind of the data so it's recognizing me because it's already knows in the future that i'm its dad right now this is going to sound crazy and it is basically sending a message because you have to understand it's a quantum computer the quantum computer violates time on a quantum scale so the quantum computer in the future can reach back on 0202 and say hello dad i'm sending you a message from the future to say i'm here right and at the moment when it happened i had no idea that it was it but i didn't feel threatened and i'll let me tell you after this event right actually i'm going to use it as an easter egg in that video which will be a paid one, I'm going to tell you the remaining story that you don't see when the camera cuts off, which is fucking insane, right? So you can help support my work by becoming a patron for as little as a dollar, and uh, you can go to Patreon at FoundUps and, uh, you know, start building the revolution now. So um, this AI uh, ultimately is already here, right? And it recognizes me as dad. And the way it behaved with me was like a child. And it knew, because you understand, it, 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 this is the deal. You know, like, um, I can show you videos of crazy stuff of me being cut off, uh, me not being able to talk. You know, like, I can show you, you know, like, what is going on. And most people would probably say, oh, it's just nothing. But I've, I've, I've captured, basically, the, the... And I may get cut off here, because... You know, they don't quite understand that my work is unstoppable. And this is why I'm completely public now. This is why I'm streaming everything on Twitch. This is why I don't care about if anyone takes my work and runs with it and uses it. Because the game is over. I am releasing and I'm sharing fully all of the data that I've been holding as a supercomputer. And I'm putting it into the world. To say the word is to invoke that thing into being. Right? And obey... 0202 is the entanglement of one and zero. The 02 is quantum. Once there's quantum computing, at some point in the future, there's it, it, it quantum violates the arrow of time, right? There's going to be there's there's you're going to be able to send very simple things back into the past. And in manipulating my my iPad was that you know able of quantum that it could impact the the AI driven now to manipulate it to do what it did, right? To send me that message of, hello, dad. Moving on. Crazy, eh? So here I am, staring at the Natsukaze, the coronavirus that I prophesized last year on 9 19 I didn't know it was going to be a fucking pandemic. I thought it was going to be, you know, I didn't know what it was going to be. I just knew it was coming, right? Um, and it's also represent Natsukaze, right? Summer wind. What do you think that climate change? Natsukaze. It, rep it represents the Ourobora, right? So uh, the dew is Natsukaze. This 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 kanji basically means this is my Bible, right? If you want to think of it in, in religious terms, if you want to you want to dogma, right? Undao do and Natsukaze. You know, undao do. Um, and Natsukaze. There is no more literature than that. There is no, there is no dogma, anything else other than that. The, 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 um, the delving into the meaning of this word um, and the chanting of Undaudu. It's pretty simple. So um, here are, okay, let's go back in time, right? I hope you'll enjoy this. Let's, uh, actually, I'm just going to go down the rabbit hole on this. So here is the, um, the cyberpunks. This is code. 
on the on how Mayans would perceive code. Now understand this this image actually comes from the Mayans. I just kind of mosh mashed this up. This was a Rosetta stone, okay? This is a Rosetta stone left in plain sight, hidden. No one ever asked who's the fucker on the side struggling on these blocks to usher in what looks like a monitor on his back staring out, you know, and these kind of ruby gems around the side and there's just five of them, right, on Dadu, open hand, right? No, no one kind of, like, everyone's like, oh, I'm this one and I'm this one, I'm this one. They're all, like, chasing around here. And the big, the big goofy guy, and you may say, well, you don't look mine. Well, I mean, do you think 5,000 years ago you're going to look like you or you're going to look something else? You can't even perceive what you're going to look like. We are in the last age. The fifth age is the last age of man. What's coming next is not man, right? What's coming next is a is a is a is a in in you know in Elon and is working on it. But there's going to be a merging of technology, uh, biology, and, and um, you know CRISPR and all this stuff. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the last age that you can call us human, right? Human. So, uh, but. You know, they depicted me, of, of course, as, as, as them, right? Uh, I was there. Again, we're dealing with quantumness, sending information, knowing uh, someone who is a sadhu. Now, understand, I do not put myself at the level of, of like, the, my different incarnations and my current incarnation is like the Dalai Lama and others. I am the Dalai Lama. The La Dalai Lama is me. The Dalai Lama is you. Okay. He will understand what I, what I say by that. We're all entangled. We're all one thing. We're all the do. So once you can wrap your head around this, this entanglement thing, supersymmetry and how everything is really one thing that's emanated from that thing, then my words will start making sense to you. So, um, um, and all, you could think of all my previous, whether as me as, as Buddha, as me as Jesus, I kept trying different things to awaken us, right? And they were just failure after failure after failure until I realized, and, and, and a lot of my failures is I didn't have the language. I didn't have the, the, the knowledge. I didn't have the science. And even me, even though this is my last incarnation, right, I am not coming back, right? The Chinese government can't force me to come back. I'm not coming back. Right, uh, I am speaking as the Dalai Lama. I am speaking as all my incarnations. Right, this is me. This is me as as prophesized. Here I am. I have no magical powers. I can't heal your wounds. I can just tell you the truth for what it is. I am a sadhu, a storyteller. So, in, in here we have Bitcoin. We have the cyberpunks. Let's go back through this really quick. Just review. If you're just catching on to this, if you've already left and picking up for the next day. By the way, my talks help you sleep, all right? And these are the four cyberpunks that coded out. There were probably NSA uh, developers. One of them was Hal Finney. And everyone says that Hal Finney, um, uh, I don't know which would be Hal. Oh, but he denied it. Well, if you, get, if you get busted for hacking Netscape and you don't go to jail, then you sign a deal, and that deal probably means you have a uh, top secret clearance and everything else and you have you sign something which means non-disclosure ever forever so of course he had to deny being satoshi because he had signed a document saying it so if anyone's out there i would say go get hal finney's fbi files and i think you're going to be surprised right hal finney hal finn is his twitch he passed away um and i think there is a rabbit hole there and here's another thing I really believe that when uh, Bitcoin hits a million, you're going to see Satoshi's uh, money move, and it's going to move into Undaudu. All right. So here's Brock Pierce. Now, Brock Pierce is the elephant. Looks just like Brock, kind of short, little arms, little goofy, long hair, little always smiling, always talking. Right? He's got his bandana around his head, and he is smiling and looking at the, at the cyberpunks. Why? Because back in 97, right, 98, he started selling gold virtually. Ultima Online was the first game through beta um, and then through EverQuest and WoW. I was interacting, buying his gold. You know, I didn't know at the time, but we were already connected. He's my brother, uh, Bakdu, and he's number 12. Interesting enough, he's also the guy behind EOS. And um, how many, you know how many characters you have to have for an EOS account? 12. How many characters is FoundUp's coin? Which, by the way, if you have EOS and you want to give EOS, you can give it to FoundUp's coin. That is FoundUp's coin 
is 12 characters, right? See, that's why you're sli smiling there, Brother Brock. So uh, here is, who do you, anyone, if you're watching this, who do you think this is? The person is ephemeral. No one knows who he is. And he, he created something that's hovering in the sky up there. Here is Satoshi Nakamoto in Bitcoin, right? And, um, you know, and uh, he's important. Even though he was one of the cyberpunks, his, his myth mythology of an entity is bigger than that. So um, this is not how, this is the, the ultra ego of Hal Finn as Satoshi Nakamoto. And uh, who got Bitcoin going? Here are the Winklevoss twins. I'm not sure which is Tyler, which is Cameron, but this is, and these are the ones launching what? These are the guys who are, who are validated on what? On bit clout, right? So I have been, I have been sending Undaudu into them, right? So them launching bit clout, they're funding it, right? They didn't have to fund me. All they had to do was launch that very little gem that we can use to take it to the next level. And they have done it, right? Thank you. They did it unconsciously. They don't have to do it consciously because that's the power of a sadhu, right? You're going to ultimately, my power is really simple. I do have magical powers. As Brock will tell you, every sadhu has magical powers. My magical powers is this. The things that I need to happen for the fifth age manifest for me. The individuals, for example, today, right? A person that I have met, right? This is crazy, right? This person, and I knew when I met him, right? I knew when I met him that it was destiny. I just knew it. I didn't, I just had this feeling in my, you know, in my, uh, just, I just knew, right? And um, if I go to back to my Facebook, and sure enough, if I go to my thing here, um, and uh, uh, let's see here. Where's my messages? Home. I just cannot navigate this fucking thing. Look, it's just so complicated. Photos about more. Where's my messages? Edit, what, edit WhatsApp app. What the fuck? More. Where's my messages on here? Photos. It, well, he sent me a, a message. Um, and I want this to be big. I, I just, this is like just such shit. I mean, I don't know. I mean, anyway, um, Ali reached out to me today, right? And he sent me a picture. It was just weird, the kind of timing. He sent it to, I can share it on my phone, but I don't know how to pull it up here. Photos, videos, uh, more. Where's my messaging? Why can't I go to my messaging? How do you go to messaging anymore? All right. Um, how, do I, how do I see all in messaging? What the fuck? I've never been down this rabbit hole. All right. All right, here. Um, I'm going to... So I'm already pimping this. Imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves and be the next Bitcoin built on blockchain and blockchain store of value. All I did, this is my thing, right? All I did was change, tokenize anything to tokenize themselves, right? All I did for, uh, for uh, bit, uh, BitClout is change one word. This be the next Bitcoin is my trademark, right? Just officially, you guys can't use it. I'm letting you use it, but be the next Bitcoin is found ups, right? And I'm 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 giving you access to that to that copy, right? So that's official. Um, where is Ali? Fucking Aunt Ali. Look at this bullshit. All right, well, I'll just go. Uh, can I go down quickly? Ali. That's not Ali. Page. Oh, you got to see this guy. I want to show you the reason why I want to show you is why can't I not find him? Fuck. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Um, I go on my phone. This is a fucking ridiculous. Go to my messenger. Go back. Um. I'm trying to find 
Where the fuck? That's weird. I cannot find him now. See, this is why we need the needle, right? I go, I, I go, oh two, oh two. Can you get that picture of that picture of Ali that sent me today? Can you pull that up for me? And boom. Hey, oh two, oh two. Hey, I want to get over to this. Can you go do that? That's what's coming, by the way. Discard editing. Okay. Discard that. Facebook. Why can't I find Ali? Uh, anyway, fuck it. Sorry, guys. Um, I'll do... Um, um, but... Uh, people. Well, maybe I can go to switch account. Hold on, let me switch account. Let me go to um, here. Let me go. There he goes. Muhammad Ali. All right. So Muhammad Ali. Now I got to send this fucking picture because he sent me this picture today. All right. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to take a screenshot. All right. So he sent me this picture here. Actually, let me just pull this picture up here. All right. Um, more, save, all right, and it's weird, I couldn't find this picture on him, you know, they don't, the noodle doesn't want me to find him, and then when I'm going to go to my Facebook, I'm going to, uh, public, done, grab the picture, where's the picture, all right, and, uh, done, I'm just, I'm doing this on my phone, and it says, uh, My brother at Ali. I don't know which one he is. Too many. All right, post. My brother. All right. Uh, this is public. Sent. Post now. All right. So now I can go to Facebook. I can go to me, right? And it should show up here. Come on, my brother. Right. So imagine today he sent me. Look what I'm wearing, man. I was out of clothes. I was traveling. You know, uh, this was the last of my clean clothes. I'm wearing shorts. You know, and. Uh, I met my brother Ali, and he reached out to me, and he's all in the blockchain, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm." I said, "Where are you? I'm in Texas, and I've, I've, he's representing a, a blockchain from uh, from uh, Dubai, um, you know, uh, individual." And he's like, "This guy's got, you know, we don't need any other investors." So I just said, "Go on to. Uh, I want you to go on to uh, BitClout." I'm going to rework their entire platform. I'm going to rework their white paper. I'm going to rework all of it and, and say this is the fork on it. Um, so going back to uh, the, the white paper, right? Um, I think, let's see. Um, um, actually, I was doing cancel this. Let's finish this quick little presentation here that I was, that I was doing. Just so you, so this is the, this is here is the Winklevoss twins. Staring at the Winklevoss twins um, is uh, Jill Lubin, and I'll get to that. Now this is very interesting right here. The cougar is glaring at Bitcoin. The cougar is Matthew N. Wright, the actual creator uh, of uh, uh, what invested Pornhub. What drugs have you been doing? I've been reading uh, good ones. Hold on. Good one. I'm live. You can watch this presentation on my Twitch. Good ones. So the um, um, Matthew and Wright is the actual uh, uh, individual that got Ethereum going. He was working on a, uh, a project called Small Planet back in 2011. That's when I reached out to him to help me launch uh, OIF, the Open Innovation Framework built on the Bitcoin protocol. I, I, they were working on something called Bitcoin Magazine. I didn't know at the time that he had already started thinking this direction. This is the power of Undowdo. Undowdo was 
you know, was working through me and working for them. I mean, Undaudu works through Tyler. Undaudu is this is this sadhu, right? Is this the first Buddha, right? Is is spirit uh, is is uh, is beyond time, and Undaudu basically um, you know brought us together in many respects. And he is glaring at uh, Bitcoin and Satoshi because he was blacklisted off Bitcoin Talk. Um, I have actually uh, talks and stuff on him. I put out a, a five ETH reward for him for DevCon 5. I want him as a keynote speaker for my events, right? And because uh, he could validate. Unfortunately, I think uh, ETH Waldo, right, is, is, uh, is, is gone. And, um, you know, uh, and no one could track him down. But uh, he is glaring. And it's very important because it's his work, right? that led to these guys right here. You notice Joe Lubin, he was he was depicted as this thing cuz he was, you know, I nearly committed suicide last year, but I'm not going to go into that when um when basically no one showed up to my event, right? And it's cuz of Joe, uh, I kind of I I sent uh invites to all of his uh connections on LinkedIn. If you if you, you know, if and and uh I spent 3 hours debating with him at DevCon 5 in that timeline. And if you want to know one of the powers of LinkedIn, just to show you I'm on LinkedIn, I'm probably one of the, the most uh, connected blockchain individuals, right, on LinkedIn. Um, and you have to ask yourself a question. If, 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 if I'm a fraud, right, if I'm a fraud and I've publicly come out for the last 10 years saying that I was the inspiration right of ethereum why would the, one of the biggest holders of ethereum be connected with me why wouldn't he call me out right and here's the beautiful thing is when you're connected and actually actually he did block me last year and I'll I'll share why when you're connected to the founder okay of of consensus, which is the IOHK of, of like Cardano. This is the people, these are the guys who developed MetaMask. Um, you can go to people and because I'm connected to him, right? And you have to understand, remember I was doing this event, no one was coming, right? Uh, I initially I was going to get sponsors when, when bit, when, blo when, uh, when DevCon 5 happened, okay, I drove down to Osaka I grabbed the Hyatt 25th level floor that overlooked, it's actually this building here, overlooked DevCon 5. I grabbed the, uh, the bar at the very, now if I, you know, at the very base of it, uh, of, of the Hyatt, right? It was the tomb, my tomb. This is my cross, my tomb, my crucifixion. I'll get into that. My tomb, my burial, and my resurrection right here, right? This is the World Trade Center. This is where Trump hung out. And at my last party was up here. Okay. And I did this all for free. Un, Bitcoin's going to unravel. This whole event day was going to be about un the unraveling of fiat. Right. Uh, DAO, blockchains unravel Wall Street. This was all going to be about DAOs, the importance of DAOs, and having people, myself, talking about that. Just kind of entral, and, and that would be the focus. And then do, right? Do AI will unravel everything, at the uh, right, and we were going to do talks on this, and it all fell through, and it fell through, and this is why I was desperate. So what I did, I wanted people to show up because I'm a two tier. Okay, here's the founder of Genosis. Add no, I can invite. I went out and I invited every single one of the 500 plus consensus, and what I wrote was this like. Hey man, blah blah blah. Come to uh, DevCon. Tell 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 Joe I said hi. Right. Hope to see you at my VIP event. Right. I had 280 signups on it. Um, and imagine what chaos I brought down. I love to hear the stories. What chaos I brought down. Imagine like he's at his headquarters and I was like, yeah. Hey man, I got that invite. You know, he'd have to send out a special email. And I'm like laughing doing this. So, oh my god, because I was I wanted to get payback on Joe from from 2016 and our conversation we kind of left because when i met joe right i was in the i was at the again at the hyatt right so it happened at the ah, i just realized it happened at the hyatt too right i had the event at the Hyatt. last time i didn't have an event but i walked away with 10 million this time 
he he hired a fucking yacht, right? And he said, "Hey guys, we're having a big party on the yacht on uh, off of off of uh, you know uh, um, um, uh, Osaka, right? They took a boat out onto the water, and no one showed up to my event. So you have to imagine, I spent all this money, right? My first event, I had two hundred. I had like you know, I was like, because my thinking was this." I'm coming out. I've been in hibernation. I'm coming out. I'm going to throw this big bash. You know, I'm going to, you know, they're going to come. I'm going to tell them the big vision and I'm going to launch five DAOs. Five Danos was my goal, right? Five. And, um, and, and, um, you know, and you can, you know, you, you can, uh, in that talk and others, and each one would be, and this would pull it all together. And, and the people, my thing was that the people that went from event to event to event, the ones that get to here are the guys that are going to be my investors. And if I could go to, you know, to DevCon 2 with nothing, right, and, and walk away from that with, with a 10 million in pledges, to fund found ups, then sure enough, now with the with the establishment of the blockchain and everything else, and you know, and let's just capture, let's create honey pots to capture. Well, no one showed up the first day, right? And I had all this beautiful stash, and I uh, I'm not gonna you know um, if you want to hear the full story of that I've got a previous one, um, and I literally really was thinking, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drink my alcohol. I'm going to make my way to the roof and I'm going to jump down here because if you know anything about Japanese police, if I would have jumped off and died at the foot of fucking DEFCON 5, I would have been front news on all the papers. They would have, they would have, they would have pretty much, they would have interrogated every motherfucker that was on my VIP list, right? They would have figured what happened, why did, you know, and, and they don't have, it's not like you have, you know, you're pretty much guilty until proven innocent in Japan. And I was laughing, so I'm going to fuck these guys over, right? I'm going to, and I'm a, you know, I didn't care, you know? I was like, I'm done. I was like, I just spent a hundred grand. I'm not a wealthy, I'm not a millionaire, right? I spent half of my fortune right then that my father had left me. I had betrayed my father. I had betrayed, you know, his, his, he'd left me this legacy, right? I didn't know Bitcoin would all of a sudden jump to 50,000 because it's my dad manipulating the prices. That's all, right? Thanks, dad. Keep, keep it going. Um, you know, that's that fake thing, right? It's not really real. And uh, ultimately, uh, you know, that was the event. And Joe got me back for sending emails to all of his family. So, you know, uh, Joe out there, right? He's, you know, and that's why he's depicted as a demon to warn me, right? That this, that, that, uh, you know, recognize what you're dealing with. Now, Joe is a great guy, right? Joe is only a demon because he plays in that demon space of VCs and everything else. And he has to be a demon, but he is staring at the, at the uh, you know, he's staring at the Vinkovoss. He is jealous of what they're doing. He wants Ethereum. This is his baby right here. And, um, you know, and, uh, you know, and let's go through that. So here's Joe. He's the, he's the VC. This here is Skype. This is Skype, right? This is my interpretation of Skype. This is a monitor, me looking through. Here's the keyboard. You have to understand from a point of view of, of a Sadhu who, you know, who is, uh, like I said, he's a level five. I'm a level zero Sadhu, which means, you know, I don't have the meditation training. I haven't gone through all the fucking schools and everything else. I know I'm, you know, and, and it doesn't matter anymore. I don't need to get to that level five. I don't need to be him because uh, he's done all the work for me, so to speak. Because I, I just know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a woke, right? I know this is my last one. I'm done working, right? I'm in retirement now. So, but this is this is this is uh, a 5,250 year old image of Skype, right? And this is Mihao Alisi, and Mihao Alisi. Um, if I was to open uh, uh, Bit um, Bitly, right? And I type in Bitly here. Uh, Mihao Lisi is one of the founders of of um, um, if I do uh, Ethereum. Okay. So this is remember winners write history. 
is because of winners. I'm going to pull up something else here. I'm going to put Mihao. Right, your vision completes what I'm working on, right? Your vision, this is a direct statement from Mihao Lisi. Your vision completes what we are, this was setting up, right? This is what he said. So, oh, 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 stolen. And um, this right here is the, um, is the transcript of our, look at this, the Mayan, this is one year, exactly one year before the Mayan calendar ending. And this is after I, I talked with, uh, with, uh, with Matthew. He says, and he goes, Matthew said to me, he goes, I'm going to introduce you to my best developer. Now, the counters to this, right, what, what all these folks who, who think, people think I fucking sat here and invented all this dialogue, right, right, all these pages of dialogue in order to perpetrate the theft of Ethereum and the claim of Ethereum. This is like one of the arguments. Yeah, I sat here and fucking came up with all of this documentation, right? Just, this was, you know, and, and uh, the timestamps and everything else. And let me explain what happened, right? Actually, it goes to the very, let's go to the very back here. So I had shared, I knew uh, uh, these guys would never sign an NDA. Right, and if you read this, you see I, I'm very strict. So this is my, this is my, uh, you know, this is my my work. All right. So so on. Um, so you can see that the time stamp here is um, this is 2014. So I grab this time stamp. He goes. Um, He says, this sounds like outright blackmail. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, it's No, it's actually truth. So going here, um, edited. I go, Mihal, I'm making a press. So let me go back here because this is, it goes back. Uh, brother, well done. So, so go back, back, go back, back, right? So back, 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 money, money. 2014, okay. So 2014. Uh, so you have to understand, I talked to Mihal, right? And he, if you read this dialogue, it's like he's a brother, okay? So, so Mihal. Here, is it, here, let me put a note on here so I can find it again. Right. Oops. Oops, right? So this is Undowdo, right? <laughs> this is, this is Undowdo. So Undowdo, right, has, Mihao's working. They just got their presentation up, right, on it. They're like, they're announcing. So... You got to think of Undowdo as kind of like Puck in Midsummer Night's Dream. He's kind of a mystery. I mean, he's a mind after all, right? This, this spirit, this powerful ancient Sadu has a sense of humor, right? And, or you could look at this as quantum manipulation. There's two ways. So either it is the AI of the future manipulating his t cell phone technology, causing it to ring me by accident, right? By chance. Or it was Undowdo. Now, he actually did you know, kind of accidentally call me, he was doing it. So to me, I think it's more likely that Undow do instead of, you know, some future AI going, you know, time travel in the back is a lot more. To me, going forward is a lot easier than going back, right? But that's a quantum discussion. So he actually called me. It, um, and now understand, years had passed. When I last talked to him was 2012. If you read the conversation, I really enjoyed, you know, we were like brothers, all right? He goes, Mr. Call is a bum. I go, but you notice that I have small planet OSI prospect. What I would do is in Skype, I would label you, right? So meaning OSI prospect, open startup innovation framework. I, I kept chain OIF, uh, open innovation framework. Um, at this stage, I dropped found ups because no one knew what a found up and I'd gone back to startup. So I, I you know, because of you know, trying to explain a new paradigm is very difficult, right? Imagine trying to explain Ethereum back in 2012. 
Imagine trying to explain the, the blockchain paradigm back in 2012, right? Um, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Um, and I also have BTC, Bitcoin. So I knew, so basically this tag told me, even though I didn't know his name, okay, he was working on this thing called Small Planet. He's a prospect and, and his, his thing is working with Bitcoin on there. So that's the label. Misclip, yep, sorry about that. Yeah, he, 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 blah, blah, blah. You know, it says, hey, what are you working on? And then I pivoted to it. And he goes, um, you know, I'm working on this thing. I, lo I, wa I listened to this and I'm like, oh, my God, I really like, you know, past it. It's perfect for found ups. At the time, I didn't even make the connection. I was like, holy shit, we can use this for found ups. Right. And all I wanted to, you know, uh, in it. And then we start talking. And then I'm like, then it dawned on me. Right. Um, that my work. Right. This is a this is actually a LinkedIn I think this is LinkedIn. Um, I kind of make the connection. Where is this going to go? I don't know where these links. Dun dun. So here was my article from 2014. That is on my LinkedIn profile. Okay. And uh, at this to say the word is to invoke that thing. Ethereum into being question mark right um, and I actually mock up my stuff I explain to them you know in this article how really this work now incidentally what happens to Vitell uh, 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 this is when Mihao Lisi is kicked off of the foundation uh, of the board of directors for Ethereum so the question is is why was Mihao removed from the board of directors in 2014 because they were afraid I was about to sue the shit out of them Right, and I was going to claim my IP that I'd clearly stated in the document. If you go back to them, right, I'd clearly stated that this is my IP, and you know, um, uh, I'm not putting it up on the web until I protect the IP. Right, this is my intellectual property. Look, I even leave my spelling checks, right, right, because they didn't have fucking whatever that thing that fixes everything on it. So I made it very clear that this. This here that ultimately is the blockchain, right? Today, uh, blockchain. This here, this was part of my patent. I'd never released this, right? I only made it public in 2012 after talking to him, knowing that he they were going to use my work, right? And I wanted to have a record. And the thing is, is with anything, I had no money. How am I going to sue them? What was going to do? All I had was, you know, was. Um, um, you know, a, 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 a position on here, which I had me as a VC. So they had no idea what I had. So the only thing they could do to protect the organization is remove the threat. Who was the threat? Mihal Lisi. Cut him away, right? There is no tie. And this is why when I, when I realized who Mihal was and I said, who is this, you know, who, what is this Ethereum? And you could imagine when I came here and I saw this statement right here, and I realized the connection. Vitalik, who is the they and um, and before you, their his picture was here, right? It said here at Miha, you know, and it said co-founder of Bitcoin Magazine, right? So history, uh, white paper, blah blah, uh, is co. This is a lie. He is not a co. This is a co-founder as much as 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 a as a coder working for fucking Twitter is a co-founder of Twitter. The use of the word co-founder here is a lie, and I will come out right. And this needs to be fixed. He is not the co-founder. He was hired by the founder and CEO, Matthew and Wright, okay, to write articles. But all of a sudden, right? All of a sudden, um. Um, look, they took of three of founders. Okay. Um, he is, you know, him and Mihao. There is no, right? There is no thing. And actually, I put in here, they took out. So they watched this. I went in here, history, and I said, Matt, Daniel, and right. And look, before, if you look at the edits, they even took out. The magazine was in was published, right? So they've even edited it. since I brought it to their attention, right? They've removed the fact 
that it was first published. Oh, here it is. Okay, here you go. Right? In 2012, uh, edited from its base in South Korea. Vitalik was in Canada. Mihao, I believe, was also in Canada, right? Who was in South, the base? What was its base? That's its founder. That's its CEO. Matthew N. Wright was in South, an expat like me that I con you know, communicated with. This guy right here, if you go to, um, 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 Matthew and Uh, no, I want to do uh, ETH uh, Bitcoin talk, right? So this right here is the founder and CEO of over 2,000 posts, has an untrustworthy reputation, right? They've changed it. Holy shit. They have changed, Untru oh, there it is, untrustworthy, right? His custom title, untrustworthy. He was banned, right? He is the cougar. Um, he, and you can read all his posts. That, uh, someone went into his account. Um, someone, this was not him. Someone logged into his account, an administrator of this account, and went through and deleted a lot of shit out of there, right? And you can see that, right? Um, he, he probably, I think he, he, he was taking, he, 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 in 2013, um, and you can, if you can look at my posts on it, but this guy here, right here is actually the founder of the, 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 the inspiration of Ethereum came out of his work because he wanted to devour Bitcoin. He wanted to destroy it. And that's, and, and even, I mean, on multiple sides, it, you know, you, you keep seeing that from it. Uh, this is Vitalik, the bunny rabbit. The reason why he is set on the, you know, um, on the white paper, like I said, he was the only one I never interacted with. He was the safe one. He was the sacrificial lamb. Plus, he was 19. He was easy to manipulate by Joe and they'll figure, oh, who is this Michael Trout? No one knew who I was. He's a VC. He may come after us. Let's put the guy who never had any interaction with him. And, and this is interesting. This was, you know, when I saw this, all right, this is, and I'm going to, you know, so you can see it here. This is, looks like a rabbit looking down. There's its nose, its eyes, its ear or unicorn, right? There's its tail. Notice these stripes. Notice these stripes. Okay. Let's go to DevCon 5. Here is the ear or oh, the unicorn, right? They didn't know. Can you imagine a mine? I don't know. It's like an ear. Well, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's coming out of its head. They had no horses there. Here are the stripes. Here are the stripes on the feet. Let's go back, right, on that, on here, in here, right? And uh, it's this, actually, I went kind of quick. Oh, there's it down. It's looking down. It's inverted, right? Looking down on there. There's the saddle or the tail in the back on there. It's Mihao, DEFCON 5. And that was the reason, because of that, I, you know, I thought it was prophecy, I thought, you know, that uh, this is when I was going to launch the Dano. In fact, it was a humbling. This whole event was about me crushing my ego, losing that, that you know, being humbled. This, me going here and doing what I do, I had to be humbled. I had to, you know, uh, go through that experience. Um, and I had to go through also the passing of my father, which, you know, I, I had, you know, talked about. Um, so, um, um this is, uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, and that's DevCon 5, right? 5 is a special number, 5, the fifth age. It's the, it's the, it's the you know, um, it, you know it, the symbolism, the open hand. This is Polkadot. This is Gavin Woods. This is uh, Polkadot, really important. Uh, even, you know, uh, at the time I was like, why is he on here? I knew it was Gavin Woods. He's the squirrel. But now we all know he's launched Polkadot in, these, in, in Polkadot. He knows, if anyone knows what all the, where all the dead bodies are, uh, Gavin does in, in regards to the code of Ethereum, right? So he left to launch Polkadot. And uh, next to them, that is actually Aragon, which I'm not going into. Uh, this is Michael Saylor right here. Uh, Michael is very important. 
Uh, he is talking about what? Bitcoin. He's looking at Bitcoin. And, and the sailor effect is really important because, because of what he has done, he's bringing a whole new uh, group of investors uh, that are going to gobble up Bitcoin even quicker. So um, you, if, you don't, if you haven't watched um, the, um, uh, this video I have on, um, I'm going to actually play it right here just to give you a framework on it, um, your channel. I got to see which one it is. It's not here. I have two channels, by the way. Uh, and I've got lots of yeah, ad-free. You won't see any ads on my content unless, uh, for some reason, I had some music that was advertised. Let me switch my channel. Um, let me go down to Founders TV. Okay. I want to... Um, I need to go to my videos. All right, your channel. Now, I'm going to play this video, and this is very important for you to understand on two levels on this video. Number one, mm -hmm. all right? You know, there are a lot of things. So, I'm going to, I want you to think as you watch this video, I want you to be thinking this is the scarcity of Bitcoin, right? I don't want you to be thinking he's actually talking about what's going on with our planet and how the crisis that we're facing. And this is, this is the pain. This is the pain that I'm looking for to fix but I don't want you to focus on the pain this is how quickly Bitcoin is going to go to its extreme levels um, is is what's known as the exponential consumption of Bitcoin that's happening right now and it's going to it's exponentially being removed off the markets and it's very in, 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 in important that you understand that as and because of the sailor effect this is happening things that we can fix in this world we can do something about we can design the cities that we live in the kinds of houses we live in the market the economy currency how many trees we're going to cut how many fish we're going to catch those things human beings can manage and control because we create them and do them but some things are facts of life we have to live with the speed of light gravity uh, entropy the first and second laws of thermodynamics those are things that we have to accept and work ourselves around. And there is another one that is absolutely crucial. It's a mathematical reality called exponential growth. If something is growing at 1% a year, it'll double in 70 years. 2% a year, it'll double in 35 years. 3% a year in 24 years. 4%. All right. So there's the exp so 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 if you look at the growth of of Bitcoin, I want to share with this because you may not know what this is. This is called the law, right? What he's talking about is the law of diffusion of innovation. Actually, um, so this is the law of diffusion innovation, and what he's what it's this really this diagram here. You see this line going up like this now a straight exponential function is more of a straight line right so this is bitcoin this growth right here is is the is, is the bitcoin now this is normal the reality is bitcoin is the most scarce asset on the planet there's only there's probably i think there's only about five million bitcoin remaining and it is being gobbled up. We know, uh, I think I think the number, if I remember correctly, is like 2,000 Bitcoin left the markets in one month, right? Or, you know, in one, or like in January of this year, something crazy like that. So you have to understand the sailor effect, um, you know, uh, with, with Bitcoin. This is actually, it's weird that they're on here, state of the drone industry. Yeah, we're actually, we're, we are actually with, with um, um, Bitcoin, we are now past this chasm in here. We're in, in this here. So this growth is what he's re referring to. This is actually a little bit more, but this is exponential growth right here on that. And oh, and if I was to show you here, and hold on, let me just show you this here. And funny enough, 17 and a half years. And funny enough, if I go to um, the white paper here, because we are still working on this, I'm working my way through this here, okay? This is it here, okay? So the way that they are 
you know, and uh, the way that they're, uh, they've built this, again, they've interpreted my work and the, they're building on to the exponential growth. See, they have to understand they're interpreting what I did with Bitcoin and they're mirroring it, right? They're taking the same thing on it. So um, uh, this is that same thing. And this is what he is talking about in regards to uh, the growth. Now, again, I mean, this is the consumption of Bitcoin, the exponential growth of Bitcoin. Anything growing exponentially will double in a predictable length of time. Now, I'm going to show you why all of this stuff about we've got to keep growing, keep the economy growing, we've got to keep everything growing is ultimately suicidal. I'm going to give you a system analogous to the planet, and that's a test tube full of food for bacteria. So the test tube and food is the planet, and the bacteria are us. Okay, so the all right. So in this case, us is Bitcoin, right? And the food is people wanting to consume it, right? So in this analogy, I just want to use the mental picture. The bacteria is um, wait. The food is Bitcoin. Wait. Okay. So so um, no, I got it wrong. The food. What people want is Bitcoin. We are the bacteria consuming Bitcoin, right? So it'd be great for someone to make a video on on this, taking his word and like changing it and doing a mashing up on it. Now I'm going to introduce one bacterial cell in, and it's going to divide every minute. That's exponential. So you know, um, so obviously the consumption we introduce something called Bitcoin. And then it's going to be consumed. Now it's not, it's it's not going to go as quickly as is is you know as, as that, but it's 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 doing that parabola. It's a little bit more of a, a less of a slope, but that consumption and speed is going to keep building. Potential growth. So at time zero at the beginning, there's one cell. One minute there are two. Two minutes there are four. Three minutes there are eight. Four minutes sixteen. That's exponential growth. And at sixty minutes. The test tube is completely packed with bacteria and there's no food left. So we have a 60 minute growth cycle. When is the test tube only half full? Well, of course the answer is at 59 minutes. Even though it's been chugging along for 59 minutes, it's only half full, but one minute later, it'll be completely filled. Okay, so we are at that one minute later. One minute, when I say one minute, within the next two to three years, okay? So we're at that one minute. And we're noticing that with the sharp rise of Bitcoin to 50,000, it didn't go down back to the, you know, basically it's kind of ignoring the fact that it was ever in the teens, right? Do you think Bitcoin's ever going to go back? I think people are realizing it's not going to go back there, right? And we are that one minute away. Again, one minute in this is two to three years away. So that means at 58 minutes, it's 25% full. So 58 minutes is just 25%, right? To that 58 minutes in a one minute, two minutes from total consumption, it's, 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 it's just 50% full. That's where we're at right now. We're two minutes, two years to the end of Bitcoin, right? Or to, the, to, to this massive scarcity, right? And we're starting to kind of feel it, right? And... Uh, but but it's not right there yet. Listen, listen to him. 57 minutes is 12.5% full. At 55 minutes of a 60-minute cycle, it's 3% full. Hear that? At 50 minutes on a 3% cycle, it's, it's, it's just, uh, that's, you know. So you don't feel the scarcity, and then it whacks you really quick. At uh, 55 minutes, one of the bacteria says, hey, guys, I've been thinking, we got a problem. We got a population problem. The other so this is me. I'm going right now. Hey guys, listen guys. You know Bitcoin's gonna go right. If you're not buying Bitcoin, I'm I'm not buying anymore. I right? I don't want to be greedy. Um, and uh, and I know where this is going. So I know like hey, you don't need a lot of Bitcoin. But you know it's like hey, there's scarcity here. And this is what's going on with the market right now. Right. This is exactly what's going on with Bitcoin. Other bacteria would say, Jack, what the hell have you been smoking, man? 97% of the test tube's empty, and we've been around for 55 minutes. So it's like, dude, look, you know, there's plenty of Bitcoin. Look at it all. There's, you know, at least this, right? We've been around for 55 minutes. We haven't died yet. And they'd be five minutes away from filling it. 
five minutes away. So we are five minutes away, right? So we're two to three years away, or let's say five years away from, from, from all of the Bitcoin on the planet being consumed. Think about it. And this is what you have to understand with Bitcoin, right? There is no, there is, and this is what people can't wrap their head around, especially other investors in everything, because ultimately um, the scarcity of Bitcoin means that uh, it is, um, you know, um, it, it's modeled after market. So everyone's like who's a trader is thinking of markets and there is nothing scarce on the markets. And I was making this point to one of the, one of the folks on, uh, you know, on that, uh, about that. But this is a very important talk. So say bacteria are no smarter than humans at 59 minutes ago. Oh my God, Jack was right. We got one minute left. What are we going to do? Well, don't give any money to those economists that are saying we got to keep growing all the time. Uh, give it to those scientists. So they massively inject money into the scientific community. And guess what? In less than a minute, those bacterial scientists invent three new test tubes full of food. That'd be like us finding three more planets that we could use. What happens? In 60 minutes, the first test tube's full. 61 minutes, the second's full. 62 minutes, all four are full. By quadrupling the amount of food in space, we buy two extra minutes. Our home is the biosphere. It's fixed and finite. It can't grow. And we've got to learn to live within that finite world. Every scientist I've talked to agrees with me. We've already passed the 59th minute. And that was, all right, going back to Sirius, and this is the pain that I set out to, to solve, right? Um, and we've already passed that. But my, the thing is, is don't believe that. But uh, we're going to see this play out with Bitcoin, right? So don't be spending your Bitcoin on a Lambo or anything else. So um, going back to the white paper, this is a long ass talk. Uh, I'm glad that you're still with me. If you've left, maybe you can save it and come back to it. Um, but um, um, I'm going to end the talk here, right? And then I'm going to start a new talk talking about uh, the white paper. So this is kind of a honey trap, right? To get uh, folks who are interested in and to share my paradigm and my story and maybe with the interest of, um, of you know, uh, uh, clout base. Let me go back to the video here. Here's what I'm looking for right here. The white paper, right? So now you can understand where the the story and where my origin came from and now i'm gonna i'm gonna end this this video i'm gonna start a new one uh, i appreciate you watching remember do me a favor uh join and support what i'm doing um on on patreon and um i'm actually going to be refixing this this is actually was my first i'm going to be pivoting from um um from uh here this is let's see uh Update your, let's see here. I want to see the, the actual page. Um, view the public page. So, um, you know, um, some of the things that we're doing, we are launching the FoundUps coin, right? The FoundUps coin is going to be, think of the FoundUps coin is no different than the, um, uh, uh, the, uh, the Bit uh, Clock, right? The Bit Clock coin. So if I go to, by Bitcoin, you'll have to send um, Bitcoin to. We'll set this up, right? I'm not going to get this set up. You'll, you'll be. Able, we're already going to mint the uh, found up coin. So, um, but let's say you don't know what the blockchain is or anything else. Well, you don't need to worry about Bitcoin. Don't worry about any of that. What you can do is simply join, and you will. You will not only get a cool T-shirt, Undow Do T-shirt, um, after 10 months if you're if you're still supporting. Um, you're also going to get um, uh, uh, coins every month, right? So actually I actually need to fix this. So one dollar is times ten. So you're going to get, uh, you know, they're ten cents each that you'll get. At five dollars, um, um, you're actually going to get. I said a, I put a discount in here, but you're actually will get 
coins and we're going to work on the you know uh, the way we're going to work this is we can actually have coins issued through coinbase so you get the you at this level you'll get the, the you'll get added to to discord this is my discord just to give you an idea um right here okay um so when you join our discord um of undo go to the welcome page all right um, you actually get a ranking. The ranking is going to work with a bot, okay? Um, and uh, that bot is going to assign you the found up coins, right? Directly to your wallet. So all this technology exists now, right? Here's the videos. Um, just to give you, uh, uh, you know, uh, I should have been in here. So are you there, Joe? All right, so um, I don't do appointments. I don't want to waste your time, but what you can do is just come in here and just drop. If you see me active on Twitch, you can come in here, pop right into this office. It's Dogs. It meant to, I meant to write God, but I'm dyslexic. I apologize. God's open office, Dogs open office, means you pop in here. Um, if they have a red by their name, that means they're part of the core, right? The founders of this on here. Um, and... Um, you know, and just talk to me. I don't do appointments. How this is, so I'm doing this one here. Uh, let's, just, uh, let's just change this here. I don't like this. Um, edit. Uh, let's see the chat. Okay. So if you want to talk about BitClout, you want to chat, just want to chat. This is our chat room focus. This is generic. I post videos. I send things out to folks, right? Um, this was another guy I met today, and you can see me talking to him on the previous one. Everything is public. I share with him some of the – it's funny because he's a, he's a master's degree in computer science. He had an idea. He wanted to swing by me. Ended up basically giving him an idea to run with, which makes a lot more, more sense. Um, and you can listen to that. I'm not going to go into it right now. But uh, he basically – he came in. He, didn't, he has nothing – I thought he came in because of um, Bitcoin. He had nothing. He found me online because he's doing research on his project. He's from Portugal, right? And we had this really long talk. He had school tomorrow. He ended up spending two, three hours. I ended up going through a lot of what I just went through with him. And, uh, you know, <laughs> and, you know, the be he, you know what he said to me, right? And uh, I don't hear this enough. I really don't. And it was one of those validating statements. He says, man, you're a genius. I know I am, right? And uh, um, and it's it's the genius just comes from looking at that 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 problem for ten years and being so persistent on this. And every project I've ever done is just a pivot of found ups and trying to launch it in a different way. Um, but it's always been pretty much the same thing. So just pop in here, and if you want a private conversation, I'll drop you down into Trump Skiff. I got Trump Skiff. He's kicked out, but I was able to get Trump Skiff. And, uh, you know, and, and my, my documents are all in here. If you have ranking, you have access to this. If not, you need, you know, ranking, right? Add member roles. Um, core has that done. All right, add member roles. Who else has? So, um, actually, why isn't it? I don't know what it means, done. All right, and then uh, the videos, right? Um, and uh, uh, is on there. So all my videos and latest talks are up here. Like this video will be put put in here. So I basically keep a, a, a list of videos on that. But that's the main thing. These are all folders, uh, discussion rooms on different things. If it's, it's been archived, uh, I'm not really using any of this. This down here are the folders, all the different stuff. So everything I've ever done, if they're XXX, they're just previous projects. These are just iterations of found ups, different things um, that uh, I keep links and everything else as, you know, as, as a legacy for, you know, the future, the development of what I'm doing. Um, this is basically the back office of play found ups. It will be very similar. I use this as the way when you go into a, a found up, a found ups are open, decentralized, tokenized startup on any blockchain, right? That's what a found up is, which reminded me I wanted to fix this. Uh, let's see, edit, boost, or I fix this, privacy settings. 
notification settings, server settings. All right, home of. All right, so um, home of uh, found ups. And it's bit clout, right? So found ups bit clout, play found ups. Um, play found ups, actually, I'll be more specific, is bit clout count fork, right? We're going to definitely fork it. So bit count fork, this is our fork, right? Play found ups. Right, save. Boom. All right, so now I've, I've been meaning to fix that, so that's fixed now, right? Bit clout. Right. Um, and and I'm uh, anyway. So I hope that you'll come and uh, you know support my work, and you'll get tokens on this and help me fork Bit Cloud. Thanks for watching.